Hey, hello people! My name is Rage, and welcome all to Afterbirth, and that, that very much sounded like I somehow managed to talk without spaces between my word. It was like one of them was running on with each other. That was, whoa, I found my new favorite thing! I'm just gonna start now. So, I mean, I'm happy. I'm really happy, because it's impossible to get a worse start than last time. See? Dad's key, little gear, safety scissors. That is like the powerfulest start in the world world compared to soy milk so honestly i'm i'm over the moon i am over the moon i am happy than the proverbial larry and i am mary as as i don't know mary i guess mary isn't mary actually mary is mary so it's not mary it's mary that's not actually kind of the same thing it's two different words one's one specifically the name and the other one's not at all so i think what we need to take away from this is that six kangaroos don't uh, Quasar yell like gorillas like. So basically, if a you know giant quasar space phenomenon appeared above our planet, you know gorillas would be like, oh, 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 whereas kangaroos would be like, chill out, gorilla dot. I thought so. Whereas kangaroo, oh, don't uh, mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Whereas kangaroos would be like, don't mind me, gorilla dogs. This is absolutely fine. It's just a face space quasar phenomenon. It's absolutely okay. It happens all the time. You don't need to freak out about it, gorilla dogs, because that's definitely how kangaroos speak, and they definitely refer to gorillas as gorilla dogs. I mean, there's, there's no two ways about it. All right, meaties, uh, let us die. And uh, there we go. So, let's talk about uh, telling old people stuff that's untrue for our own amusement. Now, you may be thinking, what, Rage? Where are we going with this? Do I need do I need to close this video? No, I, we don't need to close the video. Come on now. So, it was uh, Mother's Day a, a few days ago, and uh, basically, I uh, went home to see, shockingly, my mother. You know, I, I know, I know. It nearly, that was nearly too much of a logical leap to follow. I know it was crazy to think that I would do such a thing, but I did. Also, you know, little side note, I decided that I really wanted to show up my little brother, because... You know, I'm, I'm never, ever going to outgrow the need to tease him as hard as possible at all times. In fact, you know what? For you guys that don't like the extra hooding, we will turn it off for this episode. Why the hell not? Because, as I say, I really don't mind either way. But yeah, as I like to constantly let my little brother know that no matter what he does, I've I've got him covered. He's He is going to be tormented. <laughs> Which, you know, it's not in a bad way. I, I absolutely love my little brother. I think he's fantastic. Mini Rage is uh, always a lot of fun. But, you know, we like, to, we like to have healthy competition. So I went out and found the biggest Mother's Day card you could physically imagine. It's like the size of a small dog. And I was like... What up, bro? What up, little bro? I got you. I got you covered. What up? What up? And he was like, you. Oh, and tried to fight me. Of course, I let him win the fight because, you know, I'm, I'm not that much of a royal bastard. I'm I'm quite a common bastard. Hey, hey! Double meaning of royal achieved! Da -da 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 we really went round the houses there. A little bit of Final Fantasy as well. I love going round the houses. I do. I'm not even going to start on that expression. Either way, back to old people. <laughs> uh, my Nana is one of the loveliest people in the world. And I think she's fantastic. But she's also very gullible. And she just believes stuff. She really does. So it's always fun to try and get her to just see what you can believe. It really, really is. So, I'm going to a wedding in about a month's time, and I decided to tell her that everyone at the wedding is going to be wearing hot pink. And, uh, she then spent the next ten minutes being like, what? No! And I'm like, no, seriously, everyone is wearing hot pink. All the suits are going to be hot pink, all the dress, all of the table decorations, everything. It's going to be, it's going to be crazy. I somehow don't think we want the butter bean over uh, Dad's key. I really, really don't think we do, but we also got a secret room, so that's nice. Not that it really does anything if it just had a battery in, but, oh well, that is absolutely okay. And let us uh, move on. Annoyingly to uh, get the amnesia curse uh, this often, I just... Oh, oh, you know, oh, 
May as well see what's in this shop, just in case it's something we really are desperate for, and we'll see what this is to a hut. Not great, but at least it's going to be useful in a pinch if somehow I manage to fail spectacularly from uh, this point onwards, so there you go. So yeah, she's now convinced that everyone at the wedding we're going to in a month is going to be wearing hot pink. So I'm excited to see if she actually turns up in hot pink. But there you go. And that's not even the worst thing. That's just the most recent example. A few Christmases ago, we were playing a board game and I was on her team and basically we had to oh yeah i've got the fuse cutters i completely forgot basically we had to do impressions of uh, people characters etc as part of one of the challenges i think it was cranium for those of you that have heard of it very quality good family board game you should should totally look into it if you uh, like doing that kind of stuff but yeah she basically had to do an impression of lara croft which, obviously, you know, Tomb Raider. She's not really heard of Tomb Raider, but, you know, we're, we're not gonna, we're not gonna let that stop us. But when she asked me, uh, so what, what am I doing an impression of? Because she wasn't quite sure of uh, what she's doing in terms of the rules of the round. I was like, oh, you gotta do an impression of Bruce Forsyth. And if you don't know who Bruce Forsyth is, nice to see you, to see you, nice. Now, a lot of you still might not know who Bruce Forsyth is, and I don't blame you. It's kind of a very old, uh, thing, but I believe he's done quite a few famous game shows. Either way, I knew it was someone she would have heard of. <laughs> And uh, she's there doing that impression, saying his cat fridge is acting like the old man that he is. And then we got to the end of the round and everyone else is confused as hell. And I'm going, ah, oh, stop, bad luck, guys. You didn't get it. It was supposed to be Lara Croft. <laughs> and it was just one of the best. <laughs> just thinking about it is... <laughs> oh, absolutely wonderful. It really is. And then to round out this uh, trio of... Uh, stories to round out this trio of stories when she found out that ooh, joker lovely when she found out that i was getting a pet uh, lizard she asked me what was it and wanted information about it so i was like oh yeah it's it's about four feet long it's uh, a really big species of lizard it's really quite powerful you know it, it can bite off your hand if if it like gets annoyed with you it's it's quite extreme honestly but i think i'll be able to take good care of it i can can bring it to see you if you want and she she's someone who's scared of mice and tiny things and she's like <gasps> No! No, don't do that! And then, maybe this was a step too far, but from returning to the vets the other day with said lizards, I really, really considered heavily, and I didn't do it because I'm not this mean, because I do think she is a fantastic person, and, and she knows I, I do, to be fair, but just not to be mean, I didn't do this, but what I wanted to do was call round, because we passed her house on the way home, and walk upstairs carrying the bag that nicks my blue stunk tongue skink was in and be like surprise i bought the lizard to see you just to see what she'd do but you know i i decided not to do it because i'm a good person we want ghost baby we want sister maggie and now we are moving on with conjoined i'm going to assume then that ghost baby is not part of conjoined based on how this is going because i know uh, sister maggie is and i know lil steers i know rainbow baby is not so that means spectral baby also can't be so there we go that is absolutely fine uh, let's uh, move on uh, but yeah I, I i kind of painted a really bad picture of uh, how i operate with her but honestly she genuinely knows that i do it all in a good faith and when she realizes what's happened she always finds it really funny and we still laugh about most of them too at this day we honestly do but it's always fun <laughs> and the thing is mini rage my little brother has caught on to this fact and he now loves to join in the what can we get her to believe today game and yeah <laughs> Does that make me a bad person? I, I hope not. I mean, I don't do anything genuinely mean that she doesn't like. I do want to point that out, because I do make it sound quite bad, don't I? Oh, no, we, we all we all enjoy it. I mean, by we all enjoy it, I mean literally like my mum does it, and obviously she's she's her, my mum's mum. She gets involved in it. My, uh, my stepdad gets involved in it. It really is just a family tradition. Get my nana to believe silly shit. <laughs> We play it every Christmas and every holiday event. We really do. I mean, I'd love to know if you guys have any stories like that or just general shenanigans. It doesn't have to be with an old family member, just with something in particular. I guess it's like the opposite end of the spectrum from make little children believe silly shit. <laughs> 
that we also talked about. And thinking about it, I have quite the army of followers here, don't I? If we can actually get to conjoin, this is going to be brilliant. Okay. Nothing crazy going on in here. Gonna do that because I have a theory there's probably a secret room in here or something. I mean, there just there tends to be uh, important rooms in uh, these uh, big rooms, but it looks like there actually wasn't, so that kind of sucks. We may as well finish this room off, though, because we're going to have to probably come back through it. I was really excited when I initially went into that devil deal because I was like, yes, we are totally going to get ourselves uh, some lovely, lovely uh, triple shot action. What a good devil deal for the the first time a ghost baby sister Maggie devil deal is great, but no, alas, alack, it was not to be. Though I'm still really upset that items with literally baby in their name do not count towards the baby transformation. I mean, that just seems whack, yo. Let's fight the boss, we may as well. It's not like we're in that much danger. We are pretty damn powerful, especially with Gish to slow it down there. You're gonna brimstone us? No, you're just gonna chill out. That sucks. Although it does affect him underground, so it's not too bad. And Jesus Juice? Definitely not bad. Still not enough to quite push us into three damage, but it's fine. Obviously, we pay the price for the Thin Mushroom with a damage down, but it's definitely worth said price. Like, it just, just is. Alright, so we wanna save on some keys there. Why the hell not? Get through these guys. Go, my army of babies! I, I love the fact that in Isaac I can legitimately say I have an army of babies. And Dark Bum! This really is the follower run, isn't it? I love Eden runs. Why? We, why have we never done this before? This, this is something we've really been missing in our life. And I guess I may as well use the Joker simply because, you know, we didn't get a devil deal on this floor anyway. So we kind of should... Uh, See what we can achieve, and at least we get Krampus out the way. I mean, I would love Lump of Coal here, really would, and we get it. Fantastic. That's a very, very nice damage increase with how fast we're attacking, and I think... Ah, uh, no, the safety scissors are more useful, just because troll bombs are such a prevalent threat at all times that I think we can get away with uh, simply having a permanent defense against them. Why the hell was there a spirit heart in there? I guess Mr. Dark Bum was doing his thing? Yeah, there we go. Oh, yes! For once, Dark Bum can have his ultimate dream room! Just imagine him going around like, Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, have it, have it, have it. Oh god, oh god, grab that one. There we go, have it, have all of my... Oh my god, it's so good, it's so good, it's just... Oh, it's so good! I mean, my bad, I didn't realize that you can only get red hearts in that room, so I should have gone out and let him give me more, but still, there you go, Dark Bum. You in Enjoy yourself, my little friend. You enjoy yourself. All right, we'll go in here. I mean, we're going to save on so many keys anyway. That doesn't really matter. Oh, lucky 777. That is good. 8108, not quite as good. But, I mean, if we had zero bombs, we'd have uh, the childish level consumables that we all definitely do want. And if you don't understand why, then good for you. You are a mature, functioning individual, and I am proud of you. And I only wish that my brain could catch up to the age of my body. Just so sad. All right, blood flies looking fine. Have a little peek in here. Hey, we are finding a lot of good stuff on this run. That makes me very, very happy. Hello, bats. How you doing? I'm gonna go for this just in case of a secret room or anything. I mean, we can really afford to pot shot them a lot of the time just because it's a two room charge. It's not really a big deal. And we get an extra health up, which is lovely because we are certainly not getting red heart damage on this floor. That is uh, for definite all up in here. But yeah, legitimately, Lump of Coal, one of the best uh, upgrades we could have here. I'm totally immediately about to find the boss, aren't I? Like, 100%, I am about to find the boss. There is no doubt in my mind. Yep, there we go. Isn't that just wonderful? I love that you can go around in a square with them. Talking of boss, it's the stain! Actually, quite a destroyed stain right here. He is going to get annihilated. In fact, he's being forcefully pushed through the earth down to the wall. Taking really way too much damage there, but at the same time, I... Really don't care. That health up sucks. Would love a little bit of damage, but we're totally going to go get that from the amazingness 
that is the item room. You, you just watch me. This is going to be one of the best item rooms you have ever seen in your life. Ah, it can do. That's pretty cool. I'll take it as a sign. I wish I hadn't taken it as a sign now. That was that was certainly not worth it, but it's also not really a big deal. It's not like we can't handle a few extra bosses at this stage, especially Fistula, which barely counts as a boss. I mean, come on, Fistula. What is your deal, honestly? All right, guys, 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 bear with me. Bear with me, but I think I've come up with a great tactic for killing the dude who's slaughtering us all through the various floors. All right, listen, listen to me. I got this, I got this. What I'm going to do is generally, right, right, stay with me, stay with me, is generally float around the room aimlessly, bounce off the walls, and then kind of hope Right, there I you with me, and then kind of hope that I just happen to to bump into him enough enough that that he dies. R really, Fistula? That's r really that that's actually that's your that is plan. And then collectively, all the other bosses there in the boss school of tactics are like, oh, why is he in our class? Except one, for Teratoma was there in the back, listening, listening intently, and went. Huh. That might just work! You genius! And then from that point onwards, Fistula and Teratoma were the best of buddies wherever they went. And it was a beautiful, beautiful friendship. Well, Virgo is certainly okay. And yeah, that's pretty much us done. Though I suppose I kind of want the shop, so we'll see if we can get something good in there. Hello? Wow. Holy hell. That is ridiculous. That is absolutely, unbelievably, irrevocably ridiculous. I am so sorry, Donation Machine. I really am. But that is two of the items in the game that you do not say no to when offered in a shop. Absolutely no. That is that is crazy. More options and there's options. And we're on Catacombs 2. That means we've now gained an extra option between four new items. Two boss drops and two item rooms. That is amazing. Maybe if we were on the depths I may have said no because there's not that much we're getting from it. But even then, I, that's wrong. The boss drop affects the womb flaws as well. So, wow. That is very effective. We are kind of doing very well here and in theory this should give us a much better chance at finishing off the baby transformation which is obviously a very nice increase i mean it's not a massive increase because it's not a uh, strict triple shot because it's hard to hit the same enemy with all three beams but still it's just great at general room clearage and you always need a good bit of general room clearage in your life hello uh, that's fine. I mean, I didn't really need to kill him. I guess I successfully prevented him from being melted alive by a brimstone beam. So in that sense, I just gave him a mercy. So I guess that's pretty good. And uh, nothing great. Oh, you can't even escape one of them with the power of a dad's key. That is a shame. I mean, again, not that it matters. I was just thinking of just not really needing to fight all these guys. Because it's not like we need any consumable drops or anything. Though I guess maybe coins would be nice. Because we're a little bit low after our sudden spending spree there. Eh, two bombs is also kind of fine. I mean, if a secret room had come up, that would have been good too. Though I don't think that would have opened either. It just would have revealed that technically uh, there was one there. Come on, item room. I need to know where you are. Thank you very much, Virgo. Virgo's not the poor man's uh, wafer, is it? I'm not actually sure. Is it the item that means after taking my one uh, bit of damage, I then can only take half a heart for the rest of the room? Or is that something else I'm thinking of? Because I feel like that's the item that goes, I feel protected. Is that is that cancer? I'm not sure. That's going to really bug me now. All right, we get a couple extra coins here. I think the coin in that other room was uh, inaccessible, so that's fi foin. So that's foin. I don't know why I suddenly lost the ability to speak properly, but that's okay. As I said, that's foin. Well, I mean, it technically got one of them. 
Don't do it, baby friend! Don't wander too close. You see that gray thing? It's going to kill. Oh, too late. God damn it. God. God damn it. Uh, just some spiders. That's fine. But you know what? I really don't mind. Everything in this run is amazing because things are actually dying when I hit them. It's just incredible, you know. It is just incredible. I guess the only real negative to Dad's key is it's the champion item for making me look like an idiot by opening secret rooms and then forgetting that I saw them and just completely ignoring them. But that, that should be fine. Keep ourselves some extra keys there. Dad's key should totally open golden chest, though. It really should. But I guess it just doesn't, because how would you implement that properly? Ooh, and a compass. Don't mind if I do. Give me that five. Yes, yeah, which means we can probably avoid making another withdrawal from our... Lovely, lovely donation machine, and indeed, Greed's own body is going to provide me with the means. I like to imagine that his blood is literally money, so that when he dies, he just explodes in a shower of, uh, well, his blood, and then you just casually pick that up, like, this is nice, I, I like this, this is great. Ooh, I would say slow shot is more useful there, definitely. And I guess our boss is straight up, pretty good floor, all in all. Kind of excited. Kind of very, very excited. Couple extra bits of money from our champion money. I mean, did he just eat some coins? Is that how that champion is born? Is he just a normal hollow that one day went, Is that, is that chocolate money or, or not? And then the other bosses went, No, 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 totally, totally hollow. It's, it's, it's totally chocolate money. Like, you should, you should try it. It, it really is. Well, I mean, if you're sure, Larry, I, I mean, if you're sure, I, I guess I'll trust you after all. We're, we're kind of the same species. Um, oh, Larry, you bastard! That is not chocolate! Oh, God, that is not coming out for days, you piece of crap! Oh, God! Oh, it hurts. It hurts. Are you okay there, Holly? You're looking a little bit, look a bit orange. Uh, really? You just made me eat money! Oh. Then Larry just under his breath, you know, that's what you get, you fancy flying piece of you. I'm just stuck on the ground, you're just up there, and you're just sky, and it was oh. And the rivalry continues between them all. And goodbye. Please give me that sweet, sweet devil deal. Yes, indeed. Hmm. What do I want there? First of all, let's have a look in here. Uh, I guess I'll accept it. Just because I have a lot of health anyway, may as well get a little bit of black heart generation. I think we'll go for Crack Jacks, just because there's a chance I get a pretty good item. And as it turns out, nothing crazy happened. But it's not like it's really a big decision there. The Magic Scab not going to do that much for us. If it was Placenta, I would have done it, because uh, the uh, regen can actually come in handy. But as it stands, I just, just don't mind. Uh, infinite Keys, one makes you larger, and Telepills! Uh, that kind of sucks because I was going to do the sin room, but actually where we've been teleported to is very useful. I think we're closer to every important room here, so that is good. Straight up should be the path to the item room, which is perfect, and the shop is just on our right. Thank you very much, Compass. Thank you very, very much. And another Larry. Are you the Larry that convinced him to uh, eat the money? It might be, because I mean, that Larry was involuntarily squirting blood everywhere, so perhaps so he got, like, punched in the face for doing it. Wheel of Fortune, that's lame. I was hoping for at least a little bit of oomph from our final purchase, but it's okay. And should be a couple rooms till our item room. So, yeah, just, like, whole punch Larry in the mouth, and now he just occasionally bleeds everywhere, which is technically an extra attack, but it's also really uncomfortable, and he's just really upset about it. That would be cool, though, rivalries between the bosses. I mean, what would some of the boss pairs that would really dislike each other be? Like, what would their, what would their beef be? between them. Hey! A Mongo baby! And there we go. Lovely bit of conjoined. That is fantastic. So it looks like we really were destined for the baby army here, so that's fantastic. Let's go kill our boss then. I don't think there's any real reason to fight our way back to the sin. It's not going to do that much for us. Uh, and Mother is waiting, and you know not to keep Mother waiting. But yeah, boss rivalries. Lay some on me. Lay some on me. Can Dad's key open the boss rush? I can't actually remember if it can or it can't. 
I mean, we're going to find out, obviously, but if it does, I guess if there's a ridiculous item in there that's just a massive power-up, then I should do it. But other than that, I don't think it'll be worth it, because while we're definitely powerful enough to win the run, we're not crazy powerful by any stretch of the imagination, so we definitely would uh, struggle to uh, take out a boss rush here, that is, uh, for sure. I don't know what the blue champion of Mother actually does, to be fair. Like, I legitimately have no idea, but... It's dead now, and the answer is it doesn't. So there we go. And obviously, because we got the compass, the wind flaws aren't going to be that bad. We're just going to be able to casually walk in the correct direction. I'm thinking up and then right. No, not up and then right. Curse of the Blind is obviously very lame here. I mean, there's a point where it's actually fine if we get something like Conquest, because then we know that the left item is his pony, and then we can get some flight, and that's lovely. But apart from that, it is just objectively uh, terrible, yeah. Oh, careful. There we go. Looking good. No tinted rocks around any of that, which is interesting. You would have thought there'd be at least one in a pile. Like, look at this big one here at the bottom right with the little cross on it, trying to be like, no, I'm totally a tinted rock. I, I mean, I am. I, I saw it was really cool to have little X's on you, so I, so I painted one as well. I, I'm, I hope that's okay. No, because you don't have spirit hearts inside you. How disingenuous is that? How dare you? The rock committee will come down on you. You will, will like a ton of rocks. I hope you're prepared, little womb rock. I hope you're prepared. Annoyingly taking way too much damage through here. Gotta remember that I'm still taking a heart per hit. Ooh, that sucks. But we do get a tinted rock, so it's not like it's a completely wasted journey to here. Hopefully we do get a final devil deal on one of these two floors and can burn away the last bit of our red health for something quite nice. But we shall see. We shall see. I want to save my bombs as much as possible as well, because uh, I've only got six, and that really isn't a good amount. Uh, I don't know. It's been a weird run. We started out really powerful, especially with some uh, lucky secret room finds, and we just kind of plateaued really early, because, yeah, getting conjoined is nice, don't get me wrong. Let's just do, as that room just proved, really nice clearage, but nothing major. Mama Gertie! Yeah, at least it's a boss that's big enough to take all three of uh, my beams without uh, ooh, and we are good. Oh, I kind of wanted to get Athame all up in here and there we go. Oh, I completely forgot that Mama Gertie could even do that. Left! Oh, that's a shame. I wonder what the right one would have been. Thanks, Curse of the Blind, you anti-fun, terrible designed curse. I, I'm not wrong, right? Like, if, if this game could be improved by the removal of a curse, it is a very close call between Curse of the Maze and Curse of the Blind. It really is. I mean, Curse of Darkness isn't that horrible. It just does nothing tangible most of the time. I mean, I really struggle to see in it because of how my monitor is positioned while recording. So it's like an extra crippling factor for me, but for the most part, in general, it's not really that bad of a curse, is it? This sucks. This really, really sucks. This sucks as a room. This just sucks as everything, and quite frankly, I just feel betrayed. At least with Dad's Key, I can get through the chest with a little bit more ease than normal, so that's nice, but I really do need to start realizing that I am in danger of dying here, and I do need to be careful. I've lost a lot of my extra hearts, and uh, have you noticed we're getting a distinct lack of red heart drops? I say that as we get a red heart drop, but generally, we've really not got that many, so Dark Bomb hasn't had much work to do, which does definitely suck. That is fine. Nothing should be really able to get close to us with this kind of tear spread, so that's good. Careful. There we go. Hey, maybe someone is listening. Maybe someone is listening. Do I want to play the, this? Ooh, we actually got a really good one. So yeah, I'm going to put my last bit of... No! I really thought for a second that that pin was going to blow up my machine. That is... Oh, that would have been nice tactics from the boss. Don't get me wrong, but goddamn. I think I am going to blow it up myself once I'm out of money. May as well at this point. That's very unlucky. I'll do this final room in case I get a coin drop, I suppose. That way we can really try and maximize what we're getting from it, but it's not really 
that much. I really genuinely thought we were going to get a secret room here, so I went for it, but alas, alack, it is not to be. And we did get a coin, so if this coin... Oh, we got three of them. Come on, prove me right, machine! Yes, prove me right. Look to La Luna. Well, we got the tick that I can't physically not take. Actually, no, I can blow it away, right? There we go. And we got a judgment, which is potentially very nice. Well, not that nice. Die! And a bomb and a key. Better than what it was, so that's fine. And yeah, let's see what we can do. I mean, at least the eyes should be very easily killed with uh, this uh, attack spread, because I can basically hit them while going over to them, which is lovely. And there we go. This should be fine. I'm not too concerned. Oh, that sucks. The uh, slowdown tears very nearly got me hit there, but we managed to avoid it quite nicely. God damn it, little gish. As much as I love you, and I really, really do love you, don't get me wrong, you're, you're very useful a lot of the time. In this particular situation, god damn it, little gish. We're gonna get brimstone. Oh no, wow. Thank you very much, but we do get a devil deal. Please the goods! Ooh, ho, ho, ho. Is the nail better than Dad's key at this point? I think, honestly, it is. I think genuinely, Dad's key, you've had your day, you've had your fun, but the nail is just so immensely useful that I gotta go for it. Yes, it does lose me the ability to skip, but I think it's overall a lot better. So, to the cathedral away, because the hush... The hush would make us his bitch so hard that it actually hurts to think about. All right. Let's get ourselves uh, some health then. I basically just need to uh, be fine long enough on the cathedral to get enough spirit hearts and then have a charge going into uh, the boss because it does put me up to the next rung of damage, which is uh, lovely. And on top of Lump of Coal, we're definitely not weak. We're just not crazily strong. But I guess they're the good type of runs, you know, where you still really have to work for it. I mean, I could try and use this to uh, find trapdoors in the rooms where it's active. That makes sense. And careful not to get the explosive one, and nothing going on. I don't know if trapdoors can even be. Ow! Freaking rock just blocked me so hard. That sucks. I don't know if explosive rocks can hide trapdoors. Really? Really? That's interesting. That is very interesting. So I guess I gotta go up and left. I got completely and utterly tricked there by my compass, so that is a big shame. Now, don't get me wrong, I do want to complete rooms here, but only rooms that I'm basically guaranteed to be fine. Ooh, yes, please. Uh, and the pact. The pact is lovely. We get the health back anyway. We get that sweet, sweet damage and the tears to uh, match. Though the tears don't really help us too much because, obviously, uh, Thin Mushroom, I think, puts us at cap. I remember being told that that's the case with that, so not really as big of a deal, but the damage is obviously nice. And being able to get rid of the red health is ideal because we're more likely to uh, get ourselves some Polaroid. Although, actually, I don't think it does change depending on your red health, but at least it puts us closer to getting permanent Polaroid, which is always uh, really good. Careful, Daddy Long Legs is always a bastard in every single situation. There is never a time that Daddy Long Legs is not a bastard. Yes, Dark Bum! Oh, good, good, good. Keep it going. I need that sweet, sweet, sweet health. And goodbye. I have no interest in any of you whatsoever in any single way. Blast down the corridor! Yeah! I love it when that happens. I really do. Do I want to use it now or save it for the Isaac fight? I don't think I'm within six rooms. No, I think I am within six rooms of the Isaac fight, so I probably don't want to waste it. Yeah, especially with so many not having enemies in. So I'm saving the nail now for the Isaac fight, and uh, hopefully with this amount of health, we should be fine. Especially as our damage is actually kind of really decent, at least compared to freaking soy milk. Not that I'm still bitter about that or anything at all. And away we go. Not quite reaching the four rung when it comes to damage, but that's still fine. In my defense, that hit was because I genuinely didn't think even a slowed shot would get to me, and then the follow-up hit is because I was still in such disbelief at the previous hit that I then got hit again. Granted, that's a very lame excuse, and I fully accept it is a lame excuse, but there it is. That is the reason, and I am telling you it, so get off. Get off my back, okay? Get off my back. Please give me some black hearts. Damn it, I took a risk there. 
by uh, pushing my Athame Void Aura into the little babies, but it would have paid off massively if we had actually got some Black Hearts, so I don't feel too bad about doing it. We should be fine for the rest of the fight now, and then we've got our extra four items on the chest, which hopefully will give us the kind of boost that we need, but surprisingly, we're actually in worse shape than we were in the soy milk run, which is very weird to say, given how we don't have soy milk. So, I guess the question is... Uh, Ooh, would soy milk benefit our current run? Like, would our run be better with soy milk? I don't think it necessarily would be, but I also don't think it would be that much worse. Though I guess bouncing tears was a big factor. Either way, as long as we're careful, this should be okay. Especially with the compass to at least kind of... I was about to say, please just don't give me Curse of the Blind, but I guess we're going to take them anyway. Ooh, now that is a big deal. Eyeshadow is fine, and tech point five. That's really nice, I have to say. That is a big, big improvement to get on the chest here. Oh, yes it is. Though, this, this sucks. This really, really sucks. What a terrible, terrible room to get with freaking soy milk. Here. Not soy milk, goddamn. Okay, he's dead, so that's good. And where are you? Oh my god, that was terrifying. That was absolutely terrifying, and I didn't even need to go in it. I feel genuinely just awful that that even was a thing there. I really do. Why is there a bomb over there? Oh, wait, yeah. My fuse cutter was responsible for that. Oh, I need to be careful. I need to be careful. Yes, I do. And I've still got my waves of damage coming out from all of my followers, which is nice. But I just need to last long enough to get some sort of... Please? Ah, oh, yeah, you're not leave. What is up? Though, technically speaking, is that good? I mean, it is, right? Sort of. Hmm, I don't actually know. Are they going to go on the... Oh, he is going on the knife. So that's nice. But I don't think he's going to go on the knife. Oh, I kind of threw his head generally over there. Huh. I'm kind of concerned now. I mean, he's going to go on the knife, so that's lovely. Yes, go a little bit down. There we go. All right, that is fantastic. So now we can kill this one who is absolutely fine. Whew. So we basically just kind of got to do that until... We get in a position where we're okay here. All right, we may as well use it just to maximize our charge. How did that get me? How did that get me? Because I don't want to just bitch through every single room, but I feel like I might have to, you know? Like, genuinely, I feel like I might have to. Like, for example, this one, I'm... Oh, what are the chances it happens to immediately put that there? Like, straight up. Come on. Really? Charge at me. There we go. Alright, next time it charges at me, it should die to the knife, which is fine. And then hopefully we just get something uh, really good. Please? Hey! There we go. That definitely counts as something really good. Don't get me wrong. Hopefully we can kill ragmen without taking damage. That would be lovely. I can't believe I took damage to the wretched though. That is ho 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 ho. That is embarrassing. It really is. That's a very easy fight too. I mean, I do want to use this, but I also want it for obviously uh, the blue baby fight, which I think we might be okay with because we just got an extra heart there. We only got one room left because uh, obviously if I can just get next to blue baby and then nod leaf, he's mine. Like he's, he's just dead. There's nothing he can do. So in theory, right? In theory, this should be a sure thing. Okay. All right. We got to get him to uh, roaming around level without Nord Leaf, and then we can go into Nord Leaf. That, that makes more sense. All right, we just got ourselves freaking invincibility, which I think we can all agree is good game. Oh, genuinely, guys, I was so scared. Look at that perfect path through the chest there. Oh, I am good at guessing my maps. Ho, ho. Three in a row then, guys. Three in a row. Like if you enjoyed this, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time. A good bye.
Bye.